crisis and you are leaving it to children to clean up your mess. When she plays, she loses herself in that music and it's so lovely. Music plays a very important role for Daisy in enabling her to have some release from the concerns um, about what's happening with the climate and the environment um, as a result of climate change. Hey, I'm Daisy Jeffrey, and the strike is happening this Friday. Come down to fight for your future, for a safe future, not only for our generation, but for those to come and for First Nations climate justice. It's going to be an incredibly beautiful day. Love you all. See you there. We're encouraging people to come to the strike, mostly through social media. I'd say Instagram has actually probably been our best tool. I mean, memes are always a success. Everyone seems to love those. Also, Facebook is where our event is at, and um, that's probably where we reach an older demographic, which when I say older, it's like 18 onwards. My grandfather, he was a coal mining engineer. It actually goes way back on my dad's side of the family. Coal mining was so important to his identity. As we transition to renewable energy, it's really important that we're not leaving anyone behind. Hurts people. Unemployment hurts people too. Workers and their families deserve respect, certainty and good, secure jobs. I admire her passion. I admire really how she has been able to work so closely with uh, a growing group of other young people to, to try and make a difference. Everyone needs to be out on strike today, everybody, because this is the only way we are able to take action. We are actually at a point where only public opinion can force our government to do something. Public opinion has to corner our government into really taking legitimate action to address the climate crisis. There's been an overload of news about the climate crisis and at a certain point you just shut off. And I think that's what I was doing until I got involved with the climate strikes. Hi, I'm Daisy Jeffrey. I'm 17 and I go to the Conservatorium High School here in Sydney. What are you and all these students around here hoping to achieve from a day like today? All we want is adequate climate action. That is all we are asking for. The people who came before me and didn't do anything to save my generation from the climate crisis, but also those to come. I feel guilty already. <laughs> well done for coming down here today. I feel really passionate about this issue. I think it's the defining issue of our generation. Our numbers have been increasing greatly. We've seen the public really starting to care more about the climate crisis. We need a planet that is livable. And scientists have been telling us over and over again, and even more so now, that we are running out of time. Today we have three demands for our politicians. One, no new coal, oil or gas projects, including the Adani Carmichael mine. 100% renewable energy generation and exports by 2030. Three, fund a just transition and job creation for fossil fuel industry workers and communities. And we know politicians are listening, but they're not acting. And unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep striking until they take action. I really implore the government to take action on climate change. I implore them to be on the right side of history, to actually just move with the market, move with the times, move with public opinion, and, you know, secure a safe future for my generation and those to come. <laughs>